So we're gonna do some tapping on something that you find unacceptable. So choose something. Look out in the vast array of your life, the world, politics, Donald Trump, some bad habit, something going on with somebody else that you just know needs to change before you can have peace. Something you find unacceptable. And let's do some tapping on this feeling. I find this unacceptable. And I choose to accept myself anyway. I find this unacceptable. And I choose to love and honor myself anyway. I find this unacceptable. And part of me feels embarrassed, regretful, maybe even that I don't accept this feeling that this thing is unacceptable. Because I've been taught by my spiritual work that acceptance heals. So I'm having trouble accepting that I find this unacceptable. And I choose to wrap my arms around this and find it acceptable or to accept my non-acceptance, or to accept the non-acceptance of my non-acceptance. I'm just going to go so far back and breathe a big smile of acceptance on this whole experience and have a good laugh as I love and honor and accept myself throughout all of these experiences, no matter what. I find this unacceptable. I find this intolerable. And I choose to draw the line. I choose to set that line in the sand and create a boundary. I want the world to know that I find this unacceptable, that this needs to change for the sake of the world, for my own well-being, for my own peace of mind. This needs to change first, and then I will have peace. Then I will relax. Then I will feel safe. But let's get our priorities in order. This is where my attention needs to be. This is unacceptable. <sighs> and I'm choosing to question and release this belief that I can't have peace until this thing I find unacceptable changes to suit my needs and values. And I'm willing to have a good laugh at my ego's expense. I love my ego. I soothe my ego. I don't resist it. Because resistance is futile. And acceptance soothes and releases resistance. So I choose to start with accepting myself for having these feelings and judgments that cause this energy of non-acceptance. It's all right. It's totally human to find this unacceptable. I accept my feelings of unacceptableness. I accept my grammatically incorrect statement of just the previous. I accept. It's okay, I'm one of the humans here. No one, especially me, needs to expect me to be in loving acceptance all the time. Accepting my non-acceptance. Accepting the tension in my body. Breathing in to the tension in my body. Welcoming that tension. Noticing that tension. Whenever I have this thought, this is unacceptable, I'm very tense. And I choose to relax, breathing deeply, relaxing the rigidity. It's okay for this thing to have its existence. It does not prevent me from loving unconditionally. It does not prevent me from having peace of mind. This thing has a right to exist. And I have a right to my feelings about it. And I have a right to feel peace. 
whether or not this thing changes, I can change. I can change my attitude from resistance to gratitude. And that's not a platitude. That is my purpose here on earth, to give my eyes second birth, a second sight, to trust and know it's all going to be all right. This thing doesn't threaten my safety at all. There is no threat. I tear down the wall. It's okay. I can take appropriate distance. I don't have to like it. I don't even have to approve. I don't have to do anything. But I'm worthy and deserving of peace. And I choose not to give my power to this thing. And giving it the power to rob me of my peace is so last millennium. I accept it. This thing has a right to exist. And it has no power but the power I give it. And I choose to take my power back. I choose to take my peace back. I choose to have a sense of humor that this thing and me share the same planet. And we both have a right to exist. All is well. Not most as well. Not all as well some of the time or most of the time. All is well. There is nowhere and nothing that isn't infused with divine energy. So I choose to relax and let this be part of God and let my non-acceptance shift Relax, loosening the tension, breathing where I forgot to breathe, lightening up about what was so heavy, and enjoying the whole journey, enjoying every nook and cranny, <sighs> feeling lighter and freer. All is well. Thank you for sharing this journey with me. It's been a delight, and I invite you to consider having a private session with me where we tap on your personal issues, the way that you tighten up, and how looser you can be. I love you. Have a wonderful day. You can check out my website in the comment box below and click on it, and you'll see all the things that I do. Take care.